Morning guys, today I'm going to show you a couple different ways to hold a carbine to give you more stabilization of the recoil and to give you a little bit more comfort. So traditionally we would hold a carbine or a rifle high up on our shoulder, tucked in between the ball and your clavicle. Catch is with that is the faster you start shooting, it is already on the side of your body. It can start turning you off to the side. What we're going to do is instead shift the gun a little lower and a little more in and we're actually going to let the gun sit at an upward angle when we're standing up straight. To put the gun down we're going to bend at the knees a touch and lean forward to get the gun down on target. Now I have more meat behind the gun. When it recoils it's coming in to the trunk of my body as opposed to trying to turn me off. So if I want to shoot faster, I can without worry of it either steering itself off or rising up too fast. The other thing that people often get hung up on is what do you do with the front end of the gun? There's a bunch of different ways that are taught to do it and all of them have their upsides and their downsides. The current version that people love to do is the strong shoulder up pulling back into the body because I can still see through the optic and that works fine. The only catch is I don't have a whole lot of a whole lot of power to keep the rifle up. So, the other version is a good old-fashioned beer can grip, your vertical grip up front. A lot of people like this for doing things in close because it gives you a strong pullback straight into your body. The only issue is now my gun's top heavy. What I've found work best, at least for me, is I put my support hand in the exact same position that I would for holding a handgun. So, I'll let my fingers curl onto the foregrip with my thumb pointing downrange at the target. By doing that, I get the best of both worlds. For stock out distance shooting, I get power to keep the gun up and I still have the ability to quickly move from target to target. The other benefit comes in that if I want to go really close, zip the stock in, I still have that strong pullback to keep the gun in tight and I still have power so if something happens to hit my gun I have it braced. For more tips on how to run different firearms as best as you can contact us either at our website dcfguns.com or come visit us at our storefront 1155 Park Street in Castle Rock, Colorado. Have a great day guys.